Besides a build preview, I will also be doing a quick explanation on how to do the Radiant Escalation puzzle. Timestamps can be found in the video description. In every round, there is a symbol you need to memorize. These symbols change every Radiant Escalation run. Remember the symbols and what round number you found them in. Location of the second round symbol. Location of the third round symbol. Location of the fourth round symbol. This one can be technically ignored as remembering the first three means you can just guess the fourth symbol without thinking. The carving on top of the pillar indicates what round number the pillar is. We primarily use heavy attacks and a lot of dodging is involved, so adrenaline becomes a source of free passive damage. Catalyst will speed up our fight significantly and it's always recommended in heroic escalations. Cunning provides some free passive benefits to our damage dealing capabilities. Endurance pairs with adrenaline to further increase the passive damage gains. Tough is recommended due to how many hard-hitting attacks can occur during Radiant Escalation runs. The added survivability gives a lot of wiggle room. Assassin's Frenzy isn't really needed, but it is provided by the Rift Stalker bond on our weapon. Parasitic plus 3 is for the bonus healing stacked with Iceborne and Tough, making us much tankier. During the fight, stay underneath Chronovore. This can help avoid many attacks from landing on you. Standing in front of Chronovore will help with getting interrupts off. I recommend avoiding the Aether Vents, as mounting Chronovore isn't a good option for dealing damage.
During this attack, the original Kronovor does not vanish. Position as closely as you can to them and try to get an interrupt off. When Chronovore spins around a beam of light, stop attacking immediately and run. This attack will one-shot even with a tanky build. <laughs> 